Hey folks, my name is Arden Shibley. I am a photographer, drone pilot, and digital loader based in Calgary, Alberta. Basically that means I fly drones and offload footage for professional film sets for a living. Today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about Nanook cases. In total we have six Nanook cases. This 908 holds some hard drive enclosures. A 915 here holds some monitors, their batteries, and uh, drone lenses. And then this 923 Whoa, it's a little bit heavier when it's full. Uh, it handles all of our batteries and our chargers. So if we open this up, take a look. Whoa. So we got batteries across the top. If they are showing their connectors, they are dead. And if they are not, they are full. We have chargers down here on the left-hand side, um, some lenses and the charging hubs that allow us to charge these batteries. So this holds one, two, three, four, five. If I wanted to, I could take out some foam and hold up to 12, basically, because they're in pairs, uh, 12 DJI TB50 batteries for the Inspire 2. So you can see some of these items protrude here. So if you don't want to have too high of a case to hold something, you can actually get away with taking out the egg crate foam and just replacing it with a thin piece of foam, or sometimes, depending on what you're transporting, even just no foam at all. So obviously we have a lot of different types of gear and these pieces of gear don't come with any safe way to transport them. So different sizes of Nanook cases allow us to have a different case for each need. I'm reminded of my favorite Nanook feature every time I have to open a case that doesn't have power claw latches, trying to do this. When you work in Canada and your fingers are cold, that just hurts, it just sucks. Whereas the power claw latches provide a really satisfying tension and a good snap that lets you know that they're closed. I'd say Nanook cases are best for anybody who has oddly shaped or specific gear that needs a home for transport and protection. I always go with the pick and pluck foam and I'm still very happy with them. I haven't had any problems even after some of these cases having years of use. Lastly, out of photography gear, maybe anything for cinematography or even anything re electronics related, how many products can you really say are made in Canada? Because these Nook cases are. That's really awesome and it's one of the many reasons that we have six of them. I would recommend one if you're thinking about picking one up. Thank you for watching this. My name is Arden for Yellow House Ariel. You can find us on Twitter at Ask Yellow House or find our other videos on YouTube.